Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the backyard. Today I'm going to show you five must have moves for your pre workout warm up. As you know, it's important to warm up before your workout. And uh, to get the warm up started, what you want to do is you want to do some light cardio activity. So that could be jumping jacks, that could be jogging around, anything to get your heart rate going to warm up your body. Once you've done that for about five minutes, you want to switch over to, to do some dynamic exercises to mobilize and get your joints lubricated and ready for the upcoming uh, workout. So here I'm going to take you through five of my favorites and let's get started with one of the best ones of all time. It's called the good old inchworm. So here what we're going to do is essentially a vinyasa flow from yoga. So I'm going to go down, go through a flow downward dog. I'm going to walk my feet in, heels to the floor, I'm going to walk myself out and repeat. And if you want to go back, if you're tight for space, you can do so. And you can walk the hands back. So you can do about, for each one of these, you can do about 10 repetitions. It's going to really open up those areas of the body. That's one of my favorites. Just going to open up the entire back side of the body. It's so good. Okay, next one we're going to do is a leg swing. So I'm going to open up these hips. I'm going to just stabilize myself against the fence here. Swinging the opposite arm. I'll do 10 on this side, 10 on the other. And then I'm going to open up to do the groins across the body. So I'll just swing the leg across the body to get my groins opened up. Okay, so 10 and 10 on either side. Next, we'll go back to the floor and we'll do a combination of a frog walk-in and a pigeon stretch, but again, dynamic. So push-up position, going to do a little frog walk-in, which is essentially heel to the floor and back, heel to the floor and back, or you can do this combination here, heel, heel, have a seat, back out. Okay, so that's the frog walk-in component. The pigeon component is knee to opposite or same side hand. Knee to same side hand. So here's what it looks like when we combine both. A little frog, a little frog, pigeon, pigeon. We want to sit that glute down, sit the hips down. I'm working the upper body as I'm stabilizing. Boom. So you get a nice little combination of 10 reps there. Really, really nice. Okay, next, we're gonna do a reverse lunge with a twist. So I'll show you from the front and then from the side. So standing tall, core's engaged. I'm gonna step back into a lunge. I'm gonna twist over, so if my right leg is forward, I'm gonna twist over and back to my right. My left, boom. Okay, from the side, we're here, nice and tall. We're sitting back. Nice and tall, sitting back. Okay, so we're opening up the hips, getting that rotation going, and that's uh, pretty, pretty nice. I'm going to show you a cool upper body nerve flossing exercise that my good friend Dr. Eric Cobb from Z Health showed me to really overcome a really debilitating shoulder injury that prevented me from playing tennis for a while. So here's what you're going to do. So you're going to open up this whole kind of brachial plexus junk area of nerves by doing the following. So you're gonna stand nice and tall, core's engaged, nice, good posture. You're gonna take your hand, fingers forward, turn it out, take it out to the side, and already you should feel a stretch right there. Now, we're gonna take it a little bit further by taking the head to the side, boom, okay? So we can just do this, or we can stay here and do a little shoulder pump. So what I'm doing here is I'm nerve flossing. I'm extending that nerve allowing that communication from my brain to those muscles to just improve. And from here, I can push the shoulder down, elbow flex, extend, elbow flex, extend. This is a really good exercise to do if you're doing an upper body workout. A lot of pull-ups, a lot of shoulder activity. This is gonna open that up pretty substantially. So you can do that on one side. You can actually do this during the workout as well between sets. Other side as well, you'd open it up, neck to this or head to the side. Little shoulder pump, flex, extend, flex, extend. 
There you go. So it's gonna really open things up. You're gonna feel a lot better, ready to crank out some awesome chin-ups or whatever you're doing for your workouts. And uh, there it is. So remember, do this before your workout. You wanna open up these, these joints, get them nice and mobile for the work to come. That is the key. You don't wanna jump into a workout like that. And even worse, you don't wanna spend time, you know, static stretching before your workout. So enjoy these, give them a shot. Let me know your thoughts in the comments over at the blog. The link for that is below the video. I'll see you in the next one.